Crack chilling with the one and only Drizzy Drake. Mm -hmm. Homicide Drake about to go there and kill it for Spring Fest. How you feeling, brother? I feel good, man. I'm just, you know, I just finished a carrot. You know what I'm saying? Trying to eat healthy and shit. Uh, oh, I can't say that. No, you can cuss it out. Now, from the acting to the rhyming, you seem to be one of the most driven people in hip hop. Thanks. When you're in the lab going and crafting the music, is this somebody that you think about from your past that you're like, you know what? For every time such and such gave me a wedgie, or for every time that girl like fronted on me, I do this for that. You know, I do this for that. Nah, it's more. Um it's more the influential people that I know. I don't really think about the people that did negative things to me. I think about the individuals like um, like Wayne, like Ross, like Ye, like the guys that I know. You know, if I take tonight off, I know that one of them is probably in the studio crafting something magical, you know, so I should probably stay a little longer. I should probably not go to the club. I should just, you know, work because I know that there's somebody else working if I decide to go play. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> um, I just use like individuals, you know, and especially like probably one of the most influential people like in that regard, obviously is Wayne, but you know, as well, Jay is, is one of those guys too. That's one guy like you can guarantee if he's going in there and rapping, it's going to be something, something great. So um, I just use people, you know, I use positive inspiration as opposed to like, Absolutely. they're like, oh man, that guy still owes me. <laughs> I don't, you know, it's all good, man. I, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a great positive headspace right now. I don't, I don't want to give anybody no problems. I don't want no problems. I just want people to like appreciate this music. There it is. Last thing before we roll, uh, you got the new album get ready to drop. For those that don't know, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people know you have an acting background, mm -hmm. nice in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna give people a little bit more of that moving forward? Yeah, you know, the acting thing is something I'm definitely getting, getting back into. Um, and uh, it's, it's something that I'll chase after I finish this album. You know, it's funny. I like, you know, I'm working. Uh, I just said like I don't I don't want any problems, but this album might bring me a world of problems, you know, because it's just uh, me really like I think I finally have a grasp on like who I am and who I want to be, and um, I'm just really talking that shit, you know, that shit that like I'm, I'm I'm really saying what I feel. I think the goal for me this album was to dig even deeper, you know, like somebody told me, oh, you know, I love your lyrics, but it's almost like like I know like he, he like this person whose opinion I trust very much that I know there's I know there's more. And like it's almost like I feel like you're giving like surface raps and, and people are taking them as like the deepest thoughts ever. So um, what I did for this album is try and really capture this moment in time, like at the most honest place I can. So, you know, uh, however it ends up, you know, I'm ready for the world right now. Like I really don't, you know, I'm, I'm about whatever. So would you say it's more records kind of like your joint fear? Yeah, I mean, it's that sound definitely. Uh, like fear and 9 a.m. in Dallas, but uh, I, I, I'm using new, like sonically, me and 40 really started using new sounds and um, picking up the tempo, picking up the energy. It, it's, it's, it's very, I mean, last album it was sort of like still the struggle with fame, you know what I'm saying? Still sort of figuring it all out. And this album, like, man, I'm here with all my friends from Toronto, like, you know, we're living a life. I'm 24 years old and, you know, everybody's happy. I don't have anybody forcing anything on me, no label or no nothing like that. You know, Wayne lets me do whatever I want to do. And, you know, I got, like, really the people I grew up with here. So that's what this album is about. It's about, like, really making this happen. I want people to understand, like, this life, but from a from the perspective, not not from the super, superficial perspective of, oh, it's so good and we're all so rich. And, nah, it's not all that. You know what I'm saying? It's partly that. But it's 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 it is a message behind it. I think it'll be driven home right when people get to hear the whole body of work. Any predictions on the NBA playoffs? I mean, there is only you know, there's no. I, I don't think anybody needs to predict anything. You know what I'm saying? My brother's wanted this for a long time, and uh, he's gonna go get his ring. So about LeBron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll all be celebrating very soon. This Dallas fan over here doesn't agree, but hey. You know, he looks very pissed in the background. Yeah, that's all right. Where are you from again? Are you from Dallas? Do you know anybody on Dallas? We're on in Dallas too. <laughs> you're, you're on in Dallas? Well, you kept it 100. You think they did? I did. Win. Yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, I love Dallas. Dallas is one of my favorite places to perform, favorite places to go. But the team is not winning. I'm sorry. I love y'all. <laughs> they choke. They choke a lot. No, I wouldn't. I'm not even gonna. No, they, I'm gonna go they, as far as saying choke. The Dallas Mavericks, and I, I used to live in Dallas. The Dallas Mavericks are the Knicks of the new millennium. Oh my they will get you where you want to be. Drake didn't say all that. All Drake said was that the Heat are taking this championship home. That's all I know. You, you know how like you have an uncle list. that has a drug problem huh? and you think they're going to kick and they like start using again? That's huh. the math. Oh, man. That's what Kobe LeBron said y'all had a special relationship. Like it was on a whole other level. Like you were his brother by like blood. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're family. Like for real, you know, before every game, we have like great conversations. Like, you know, just life conversations. and. I, I try and encourage him as much as I can. I support. When I come to the game, I feel like we have, you know, some some like wavelength connection. You know, I feel like my energy and his, like, it, it, I mean, we're just we're just connected. Like, 
in a way that um, two, two, two young individuals chasing a very, you know, a dream that would seem extremely distant, we can, we can relate, you know, like we're in the same position. And, and so, yeah, I mean, that's my dog, definitely. I, that, that, that's why I go, you know, that's why I go so hard for the heat. You know, Chris Bosch, you know, that's Toronto all day. And, you know, D-Wade, that's my other brother, too. So. Anybody coming out of Toronto we need to be on the lookout for? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, well, you know, first of all, you know, I got um, like one of my closest friends, my brother. Uh, he goes by the name of P. Rain, reps up, you know what I'm saying? He's um, he's a rapper. He's a rapper from Toronto, and he got a mixtape out right now. And he's, you know, got a bunch of new music out. And then um, another artist, you know, affiliated with the OVO, OVO labels, The Weeknd. He's got, like, all this buzz going for himself right now. Incredible. He got a mixtape called House of Balloons. You can go and download. So, you know what it is? I mean, it's just, it's a great city. It's a great time. It's a great time to be young. And take care. It's coming soon, I promise. Thank you so much for your energy, Drizzy Drake. Building. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Yeah. Peace, you gotta tell Ricky I said what's up to you. That's my dog, man, all day.